So I've done NetBSD and I've done OpenBSD. That was good. It's time to do the last mainstream BSD variant, which is Dragonfly, and get to an XFCE for desktop. Now I downloaded the image file and burnt that to a disk and I've booted to my UEFI boot manager and I'm ready to get installed. So why don't we take a look at that today? Okay, so the only time I've ever actually installed Dragonfly BSD was for a video on this channel. Never really used it. Probably not really going to use it today, but I want to get it installed and I want to try and get to an XFCE4 desktop and just see how easy it is compared to what I know, which would be FreeBSD. So let's jump into my boot menu from the UEFI firmware. As you can see, we've got a UEFI OS, which is partly Dragonfly BSD. I wanted to make sure the disk was seen and all that. And the Data Traveler, which is my USB device with Dragonfly BSD image on it. So let's boot to that. Ah, oh, hate this thing. I don't know how you turn it off. I wonder if it's in setup. Let's have a quick look. I don't think it's in there. Hmm, it's not in there. I didn't think it would be. Okay, let's boot to this thing. I bet it does it again now, just to annoy me. <laughs> oh, come on. I'll, I'll, I will find out how to disable that. I'll have a look in a minute while this is running. It's gonna be one of them days, isn't it? Hoorah. Right, so let's log in as installer. Install, see this is, yeah. Okay, so Dragonfly BSD is a fork of FreeBSD from around about four, 4.5, something like that. I'm, I'm working by memory. As far as I remember, and I remember it happening, there was some BSD developers that didn't like the direction of FreeBSD 5. So they used, uh, so they used, so they forked FreeBSD from, I think it might actually have even been further up than that. Let's have a quick look. 4.8, yeah, I was close. June 2003. Okay, right, so installed Dragonfly BSD. That's a UEFI system on DA0, yep. We know it will be irrevocably lost. Use Hammer 2, that's their file system. Never used it. Accept and create. Begin installing files. Now, I have no idea how long this is going to take. So, always handy to have a fair amount of coffee, I think, for this one. It's been installed, so let's configure. Select time zone. No. Okay, date and time. All looks correct. Keyboard map, UK ISO KBD. I think that will be the right one. Set a root password, add a user. Doesn't like that either. I'll just do that for now. EM0, use DHCP. Let's have a... Okay, console font, don't care. Screen map, don't care. Return to menu. Now, interestingly, it didn't ask about SSH, but that shouldn't be that difficult. So let's reboot and pull that USB and see how we go. Right, I'm gonna go into the UEFI firmware again and just check that that diagnostics is not in the startup. Because if I can get rid of it, I'll be most happy. Right, primary boot sequence. Automatic, it ain't there. Error, it ain't there. So how is it doing that? Who cares? Let's get on with it. <laughs> okay, 
first boot of Dragonfly. There we go, it's booting to it, that's a good start. I'll be honest, I didn't think it was going to boot then. That looked like a kernel dump. Okay, so let's log in as root. Let's get my, my editor of choice. Wow, that's slow downloading. Okay, good, it's there. <laughs> okay, that's good. Um, just wondering if I should switch to my terminal. Yeah, okay, let's do that. Just for now, anyway. Just while we configure. There we go, that's better. All right, let's get that out of my way for a minute. And let's change the settings. Let's make it big. Uh oh <laughs> Better make myself look big. <laughs> that's that. Now I want to install the X window system. So this is very free BSD. Let's get that installed. Now without re rehashing the Xorg versus Xlibra, this is using Xorg. I don't think it's been ported over yet. It's gonna take a few minutes. Hey, okay. not on that, it doesn't look very good. Nearly there. Well, at least nearly fetched them anyway. Now I could have done all this in one go. And if I'd have read the instructions before doing it, I would have done, but it's fine. Let's let it do that. Okay, that'll do. Two gig, this will take a few minutes. Yeah, that's warm out there. Okay, so we're at the install part. 116 GCC. They're still using GCC. 157. Right, okay. So we've done that. So we just need to put in a few bits into our rc.conf. Very free BSD like. So let's bung them in. Next, SU to Gary. See these to our own directory. And that should be it. Let's try it, shall we? Oh, because I'm on SSH. Should we swap to that? Right, still logged in as root. Okay, let's come out. Let's log in as Gary. Unable. All right, let's reboot it. See what happens. Spot of luck, XDM will start up, but I don't think it will as it's not in the rc.conf. We shall see. Yeah, so that's not working. <laughs> yeah, what I could do is install Slim, couldn't I? It's a better manager anyway I think or is it slim enable let's see if that actually works I get the feeling I need to actually configure xorg see what happens I might have to change the TTYs let's see yeah it doesn't like the X server does it right where's the no though okay hmm what am I looking for? Okay. Whoa. I don't like that, does it? I don't know if you can hear that beeping. Okay, let's see if the uh, enable 9915 helps. Probably not, but we shall see. Oh, that's better. That's not right, though. Let's shut down Slim. Um, right. Okay, so we've shut down Slim. The i915 helped. Not going too well so far. I mean, I'm sort of there. Sort of. There we go. Right, we're in. Let's grab the right mouse and hope that it's working. Whoa. Whoa. All right, quick question. Why is that so um, slow? Yeah, that's not usable. All right, okay. 
let's pop to SSH and I'm going to put a few things in my boot dot loader. D bus held. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to install a few extra bits here. I don't need LibreOffice. Don't need Chromium. Certainly don't need Vi. It's always already installed. Let's see what happens. It is very slow. Maybe I do need power. <laughs> mouse D for mouse input. Check which device the mouse D daemon is using. So I don't even think mouse D is running. Blimey, that's slow. Yeah, this is uh, odd. Why is that taking so long? I mean, that is slow as hell. Although the speed says it's good. I don't believe it. Oh, I was so close as well. So close. Okay, let's let it install these packages. And then I'm going to reboot again. I just want a usable desktop. Their repos are very slow. Unless... It's quite painful. Let's let these install. And then reboot. Wowza. I'm pretty sure I've got that, but let's double check. Yeah, it's already there. Okay, let's reboot. Right. Here we go, it's coming back up. Okay, let's configure X, X, whatever it's called. Let's get rid of that, we don't need to. So, move. Okay. Device. Change from Intel. Okay, mod setting driver. Xorg.com. Driver, just change it to mod setting or mode setting. Okay, let's see if that works. Probably not. Right, this is going to be my last attempt. If, if the, the mouse isn't usable, I'm going to go away and see what's going on. I mean, the mouse is seen. Let's see if this is any better. Oh, there we go. That is better. Much better. All right. Now, I don't know if we've got sound on this yet. I don't think we have just yet. We do have sound. You guys might not be able to hear it, but I can hear it. It's coming out of the front panel speaker. That's fine. At least it's working. Oh, choppy, choppy, choppy. Yeah, it's working. That's fine. The interesting thing is, there's nothing there about sound but it doesn't matter it's there and it's working and to be fair that wasn't actually that bad i mean apart from the fact that i was using the wrong driver that's could happen to anyone uh but it's working fine what, what is that oh, just notifications can you bogger off all right so uh yeah that's working what web browser do you give me all right okay sure why not and of course we get all the usual xfce stuff now that's good. It's a solid base to, to start from. I'm going to have a play around with this and, and see if I can, yeah, see if I can get other things installed. Yeah. Let's leave it there. You guys using Dragonfly BSD? Be interested to hear your thoughts on it. Drop a comment. Do the usual spiel. I'm not saying it this time. I just, I, I can't bring myself to. It hurts the brain. <laughs> I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Yeah, drivers, always drivers. Yes. You think you get away from Windows and there's no driver issues, but there's always driver issues. Anybody know why? Because I sure as hell don't.